Good morning, my family in Jesus Christ. I hope everybody slept like babies. And um, today it's pouring rain here, and I know there's storms all over. Don't fret. Don't feel anxious. Don't 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 show worry nor fear. That's only from the evil one. Hold tight to Jesus Christ. If you're His child, you're okay. No worries. So let me read to you. I open this randomly. Here we go. I saw two children walking to get together today, happily exchanging words and glances, laughing about a share a shared joke. They didn't worry about the cracks in the sidewalk or the bumps in the road, but rather skipped along over them. God wants our walk with him to be just like that. Hallelujah! Enjoying his company, sharing together, and crossing the rough places on our journey home without the slightest care. If we claim to have fellowship with him, yet walk in the darkness, we lie and do not live by the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. 1 John 6, 7. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I love you, Jesus. I love you. Whoever claims to live in him must walk as Jesus did. 1 John 2, 6. Righteousness goes before him and prepares the way of his steps. Psalm 85, 13. Amen. O oh Lord, I have walked before the faith. Excuse me, let me start over. O oh Lord, I have walked before you faithfully and with wholehearted devotion and have done what is good in your eyes. 2 King 23. You have delivered me from death and my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before God in the light of life. Psalm 56, 13. Hallelujah. Blessed are those who have learned to acclaim you, who walk in the light of your presence, O Lord. Psalm 89, 15. The ways of the Lord are right. The righteous walk in them, but the rebellious stumble in them. Hosea 14, 9. Many times along our life walk, the path becomes obscure. We need someone to help show us the way. That someone is God. The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You will, you will be like a well-watered garden, hallelujah, like a spring whose waters never fail, Isaiah 58, 11. God guides the humble in, with, in what is right and teaches them his way, Psalm 25, 9. Hallelujah, amen, my family, my family. I opened that randomly, and I hope that, I oh, see me rocking, that's the Holy Spirit. I hope that helped you. That was a message for all of us, all of us, each of us in our own ways. It's not a competition, my family. We're all going through something, whether it's our children, whether it's something with our spouses, whether it's financial, whatever it is, whatever it is, we personally take that like sometimes it's the end of the world. And it's not, it's not, it's just of the world. You see, God's children, we ju we're just residing in this place. So we take the kicks, we take the bumps, we take the bruises, because we know we're protected by the Almighty God, the Almighty Father, and His Son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He states it in His Word. He never lies. There's only one liar, and that's the evil one. He's lied from day one, and he, he'll lie and lie and lie until that bastard's thrown in the lake of fire forever. And that time is coming. And that's why he's afraid. Yes, he's, he's afraid. That's why he tries to give God's children fear. Because he wants to bring you down with him. Don't let him. Stand, my family. Stand, my family. Feel strong in Christ Jesus. Be, 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 lift your shoulders. Walk high. No matter 
what you're going through, even if it's even if it is the hardest thing in the world, view it as righteousness because that goes to show you. Say to yourself, "Well, what am, am I that much better than God that I could go through this world and not suffer?" He already warned me. Behold, in this world you will have many troubles, but I have overcome the world, and He has, and He will. And all around us, you see the signs. We know not the date, we know not the hour, nor do the angels in heaven. That's up to our Father, God Almighty. He has His finger on all His children. But be, believe me, believe this: the signs He tells us to look for: earthquakes, d- uh, disease. Selflessness, cruelty. There's so many Christians out there being persecuted just for their beliefs. Hold tight. Hold tight and know you're Jesus' child. Know that you're going home soon. My family, I will see you in the clouds very soon. I love them. I love them with all my heart and soul. No matter what, no matter how I suffer, no matter how you suffer, sometimes I'm hungry, sometimes I'm facing homelessness, and this smile is real as I could tell you. Is God is my witness. I won't play around with Jesus. I fear God. I won't. I will not lie. I will not play around with his word. I don't take from it and I don't add to it. It's all about Jesus Christ holding on because at the last second he feeds me. At the last second everything works out for the good of God. So you stand tall today my family. You stand tall. Shoulders back. Pump out your chest and walk and you say to people, Hello, how are you? God bless you. I love you. Don't hide and be ashamed that you follow Jesus Christ. Wherever I go, I say, Are you a believer? And they'll say, A believer in what? And I'll say, A believer in what? And a believer in one one and only thing. Your Father, God Almighty, and His Son, Jesus Christ. He loves you. And they go, well, yes, I am. And I go, today you will be blessed, my friend. They say, I hope so. And I say, cheer up. Cheer up. You're God's child. You're God's child. It's just like these movie stars that go around and they're say, like, let, let's, let's say Lisa Marie Presley. If, if somebody met her in a mall and they all ran over to her and they said, oh, it's Elvis's daughter. It's Elvis's daughter. No, you don't run over to her because she's Elvis's daughter. Who's Elvis? People are going to run over to you because you're saying you're God's daughter. You're God's son. You're Jesus's son. You're Jesus' daughter. That's the king of kings. He's the king of kings. Be proud. Sport it. I wear this hat everywhere I go. And I love to come up to unbelievers. And I kill them with kindness. A smile. Love. I ask uh, can I hug you? I don't care if they turn me away. I don't care if they spit on me. I don't care if they laugh at me. I just care about God Almighty and our Lord Jesus Christ and serving him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen. Bow your heads with me. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. We rebuke Je- we rebuke Satan in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, you see us on here. We are your children. We are your family. Please touch the non-believers. Please strengthen the believers. Please, Jesus, we love you. We love you. We love you. We love you with all our heart and soul. I know I could speak for myself that I am proud to suffer. I am proud to be your daughter in Christ. Christ Jesus, bring on the suffering. If that's your will, let let God's will be done. And touch my brothers and sisters. Increase their strength. Increase their faith. Increase their love for you. And let them not worry. And let them not stumble. And put your finger upon them. And bring forth all the non-believers to this channel. This is your channel, Jesus. It'll never be monetized. It's all for you, Jesus. It's all for you. I love you, Jesus. I love Love you and I love all my family. I love my new subscribers. Welcome to this channel. This is a channel that 
We need, this is, it, it's not me, I'm just a vessel, but we need this in this in, the, in these end times. I read straight from the book, the word. Again, I don't add to it and I don't take away from it. I, I, I just read what he tells me. Jesus literally t- speaks to me. I would never lie. He wakes me up in the night. I have, I have all my books next to me. I have pens. He tells me what to say. He tells me when to come on here. He tells me which, what, which book to pick up. He, he, he says, this person needs this. This person needs that. Lean, lean more toward talking about this. Lean more talking about that. And sure enough, a couple of hours later, sometimes 15 minutes later, I'll get uh, uh, five emails from people that say, I needed that. I needed that. That's okay, my brothers and sisters. I need you too. And I need Jesus just as much as you, but don't, don't fret. Don't have anxiety. Go out there today with your with your with your armor of God. You, you, my brother, you, my sister, are a child of God. You are touched. You are special. Not Elvis Presley, Presley's daughter that the people in the mall will run over. Oh, it's Elvis's daughter. No, that's you because you're the child of Jesus Christ. You're the child of God Almighty. I love you so much. I love you with all my heart and soul. Please stand tall. Shoulders out out and know and know that you will overcome anything with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, 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 amen. I love you. Welcome. Spread this channel so more come to us. It'll never be monetized. I never ask for money. All I want is to take our butterfly nets, my family, and capture souls so that bastard Satan doesn't get them. We have to fight back for Jesus Christ. We still have time. We woke up today. Our father didn't come back. We still have time time to save souls. Save souls with me. Please, please. I love you all in Jesus' name. Amen. This little Italian girl will be back. Ciao.